So over here, you can see that I have one piece of data right here. And if I were to go around over here on the top, here you can see that you can add in multiple pieces. So once you click on add piece, you can see that there's two pieces. And if you want to add in more, you can go around, add in more pieces over here as well. As you can see, there's also other things right here, as you can see, like divider header. And this is something we're going to see in upcoming lesson. So now over here, you can see that there's untitled pieces all over right here. So you can see that this is untitled piece one, two, three, four, five. What you can do is you can go around over here and rename out the piece as well. So I'm just going to go around and say tutor tube one right here. And similarly, I'm just going to rename this out right here. And I'm going to say test right here. So you can see that you can go around and rename out the files according to how you want right here. So I'm just going to go around and say uh, this is going to be a channel report right here, just like this. You can also reorder out the piece by clicking and dragging out the report pieces right here, up and down, as you can see right here, just like this. And you can rearrange out the data outlook right here. So you can go around and then click on this and then work around with this, as you can see. So you have all of these options right here. You can also go around on the left side and see this right here, as you can see. So there's the piece. Uh, data right here, as you can see on the pays as well. So if I were to go around over here, you can see that manage pages is an option which brings you down to the same option over here again. You can go around over here, delete out the pays, hide in view mode so it does not actually seem right here. So it's hidden as you can see. And then you can go around and then show it um, uh, uh, back as well. You can go around and then go around with select icon and apply a, per, a particular select icon as you can see right here. So you can see that this is what you have right here. And then you can go around, move it up and move it, move it down instead of clicking and dragging over here as well. If you want to duplicate out a particular page right here, uh, then what you can do is you can go around and as I select this, you can see that this is what you have right here. Let me just go back to um, the Pays manage option again, and you can go around over here, move it up and down uh, right here, or duplicate over here as well, so that the same data is duplicated out in second page as well. And that is how you can manage out multiple pages of data inside of Google Data Studio. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.